Professor Stephen Hawking's funeral will be held in Cambridge before his ashes are interred near Sir Isaac Newton's grave at Westminster Abbey. The funeral arrangements for Professor Stephen Hawking have been announced by his family, just a week after he sadly passed away. The funeral arrangements for Professor Stephen Hawking have been announced by his family, just a week after he sadly passed away. Hawking's funeral will take place at Great St. Mary's, the University Church in Cambridge, on Easter Saturday. The church is close to Gonville and Keys, the Cambridge College where Hawking was a fellow for over 52 years. Family, friends and colleagues are being invited to the private service taking place at 1400 hours on March 31, 2018, followed by a private reception at Trinity College. His ashes will then be interred at Westminster Abbey near the grave of Sir Isaac Newton during a Thanksgiving service later this year. Hawking's children, Lucy, Robert, and Tim, said they chose to hold the funeral in Cambridge in recognition that it is the city that he loved so much and which loved him. In a statement, Hawking's children said, On behalf of our whole family we want to express our huge gratitude for all the wonderful tributes to our father and to those who have sent us messages of condolence. Our father's life and work meant many things to many people, both religious and non-religious. So, the service will be both inclusive and traditional, reflecting the breadth and diversity of his life. We would like to thank Gonville and Keyes College, the University of Cambridge and Trinity College, Cambridge for their assistance with our father's funeral service. The very Reverend Dr. John Hall, the Dean of Westminster added, It is entirely fitting that the remains of Professor Stephen Hawking are to be buried in the Abbey, near those of distinguished fellow scientists. Sir Isaac Newton was buried in the Abbey in 1727. Charles Darwin was buried beside Isaac Newton in 1882. Other famous scientists are buried or memorialized nearby, the most recent burials being those of atomic physicists Ernest Rutherford in 1937 and Joseph John Thompson in 1940. We believe it to be vital that science and religion work together to seek to answer the great questions of the mystery of life and of the universe.